In this week's Torah portion, Vayigash, Judah approaches his brother Joseph to plead on behalf of their brother Benjamin. This took tremendous courage on Judah's part, and it showed great growth in his character. You see, Judah was the one who had suggested selling Joseph into slavery years before. Now, while that might have saved Joseph's life, it was far from what his real moral responsibility would have been to protect his brother Joseph from harm. And now here, years later, he comes to Joseph to plead on behalf of Benjamin, who's in a similar situation. He's being held captive in prison. But this time, Judah offers himself to be put in prison instead of Benjamin. This was all part of a plan by Joseph to work out his anger toward his brothers, but more importantly, to see if they had truly changed. And indeed, what he got was much more than he expected. This is living proof of the Talmud's teaching that we know that true repentance has taken place when we are faced with a similar situation and we choose differently. This story represents tremendous growth not only on the part of Judah, but also on the part of Joseph. These stories from the Bible are not just stories about them and long ago. They're stories about us, about human nature, and how we can deal with almost everything that comes along. The Torah is not just an ancient book. It is a tree of life to those who hold it fast, and all who cling to it find happiness and great advice for how to live our lives today.